It's time for the Mental Health Moment, a show exploring the world of mental health and answers for life. Brought to you by Life Launch Centers. Here's your host, Joe Newman. Welcome once again to the Mental Health Moment. It's Monday and time to take a moment for your mental health. I'm your host, Joe Newman from Life Launch Centers. And this is the show where we talk about all things for your mental health. We teach healthy coping mechanisms, discuss current situations that affect our mental health, and give you tips, ideas, and resources that you can implement right now. You know, it seems like anxiety and depression are taking over society. Our kids, but also a lot of adults, are struggling right now with dealing with difficult emotions that are a part of life. You know, we're talking about resilience here, emotional resilience, and and that's what we do at Life Launch Centers. We teach families resilience in group counseling programs. Kids ages uh, 11 to 26 with anxiety or depression, they come and learn the emotional tools they need to successfully launch into life. Group is awesome. They just have an opportunity to realize that they're not alone in their struggles and their defense walls come down real quickly. And they see that uh, you know there's, there's actual things they can learn that will help them deal with these difficult emotions. And so we're going to talk a little about um, some special and some some really unique resources that we have in our community out there that can help us build resilience. And today on the show, I've got with me Yuri Mello. He's a licensed clinical social worker, and he owns his own practice here in St. George area. He works with a wide variety uh, range of clients, and he has an interesting specialty based in adventure therapy. And so, Yuri, I'd like to welcome you to the show, and thanks for joining us today. Joe, I'm impressed. That's awesome. I'm happy to be here. Great intro. Uh, <laughs> let's have some fun. Let's do I this. I appreciate you, you joining us. And, and maybe just for the listeners out there, tell us a little bit about your background in sure. counseling. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, I've been doing therapy now for, man, it's been about 16 years or so. Um, all of that, I've been in private practice, which I just absolutely love. There's just a degree of freedom uh, that 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 allows. Uh, And so I I have a practice here with other clinicians and some psychiatrists. Honestly, it's been amazing. And the experience uh, of doing therapy, I honestly just feel uh, really grateful to the community because I've just had the pleasure of meeting and working with the most phenomenal people, phenomenal families, adults, youth. It's just been really, really fun. And I think as a result of that, as a result of those 16 years of experiences, which almost equate to, I was just thinking the other day, man, that's like 40,000 hours of like face to face time with people. That's a lot of hours with people. Well, but, there's so much need out there. You can oh, yeah. under, easily understand how those hours are, are racking up because like I said in the intro, it's like anxiety and depression seem to be taking over. And, and you kind of have a unique uh, experience and background. I mean, pe- just from your name, people recognize yeah. that it's not a traditional tam- Tell us a little bit about your background. Sure. I, I, uh, maybe I'll start all the way at the beginning, but I promise I'll summarize because it's maybe it's a little bit of a long story, but I was originally born in, in Africa and my name Yuri is, I guess how you would say it in Portuguese yeah. is actually a Russian name. And my mom was a, was a big fan of Russian literature. In fact, my oldest sister is Natasha. We're like, we're right out of the same book. So That's I think great. Dr. Zubago wow. maybe or something like that. <laughs> but then we moved from Africa to Portugal, where I really spent my childhood and kind of teenage years, uh, and then moved to America, um, really at the age of 15. And I've been here ever since. You know, So that between... gives you some pretty unique perspective oh, yeah. on the world that uh, I love that you, you bring to the table. Yeah, it's, it's really fun, honestly. I, I feel super fortunate that, that I, I did get to experience a little bit of some other cultures. And anyways... It's, it was great to live there. It's great to be here. I just am overall super happy. Very, very grateful. Well, so. uh, you know, tell us a little bit about your specialties, because like sure. I said in the intro, you've got some unique uh, counseling techniques. And uh, I'd like the, the listeners to be aware of some of these awesome resources that you bring to our community. 
Yeah, you're a good man. I appreciate that. I uh, I, I was going to say it, it's really just been awesome to meet with people because over that many hours and that many individuals, you, you really do just end up getting a lot of ideas and really just being inspired. As a result, I've 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 written a couple of books. I, I don't know if I would say that I specialize in depression and anxiety, although I would say that a large majority of my caseload addresses that specific topic. And so I do spend a lot of time talking about the brain, talking about the mind, and how to how to create a better interaction between the two. Um, the other thing that I do, and I think that you uh, alluded to a little bit earlier, is I have this um, – it's something that I've developed. I'm sure other people have tried it as well. So I can't like own it. It's not mine per se. Sure. But, but where I, I started uh, rock climbing uh, pretty much right when I completed my, my program, which was in 2004. And I had a good friend of mine that introduced me to climbing and bouldering and rappelling and all of these just really exciting kind of adventures. And I remember uh, when I was first beginning to build my practice, I would have an hour here, an hour there, and I would go up to uh, Dixie Rock and a few other places, and I was just kind of starting to get into climbing a little bit. Um, and after a little while, I just started to think, man, like I, I have to bring people up here. There's, I, what I always say is there's magic in these rocks. Like there's just magic there up is here magic in the wilderness. In Absolutely. And, I'm, I'm a yeah. climber myself. And so yeah. this specialty really piqued my interest because I've often come upon a lot of uh, profound thoughts, I think, while you're dangling on the end of a rope on a rock. And <laughs> it's, it's yeah. great that uh, you recognize how that can maybe even be applied in a therapeutic way. And it was really, and it worked out super well. I mean, I, I, I was seeing, uh, I mean, clients of all ages and of course a good, a good amount of adolescents and teenagers and kind of early on college students. And, uh, and this whole approach of, of not being particularly in the office, uh, which I absolutely love, but it's, I, I would say that office therapy is, is, is more intense and very directive therapy. And it's not yeah. that way with everyone and it doesn't have to be that way, but it can almost be a little bit intimidating. And when we introduce rock climbing or bouldering or rappelling to individuals, it's, it's just such a, it's a really open experience. And especially when we're talking about adolescents, I, I tell parents all the time, I said, look, I, whenever I see kids like, and I know that parents want me to see their kid and, and they want me to like drop some knowledge, some unbelievable like cognitive gem that their kids yeah. are just going to go like, oh my gosh, you're, that's going to change my life forever. Yeah, right. And and what I always tell parents is, look, like I, yes, we are going to talk about some magnificent, magnificent things that will help them to be, and use the word that you used, resilient, right, to increase their emotional endurance, their emotional IQ, et cetera. But honestly, adolescents have to come to therapy and they have to leave feeling great. Like they yeah. have to leave feeling great to want to come back and yeah. to enjoy the experience. And so rock climbing and bouldering just fit that so nicely because number one, the experience is really, it's just not as intense as it is in an office. It's there's, there's a lot of stuff to interact with at the rock. Uh, and of course, it's exciting. It's adventurous. It's fun. It's exercise. It's outside. I sometimes call it. It's my. It's my three-in-one approach. I mean, we're getting. We're not only doing the therapeutic work. We're learning a new hobby, and man, we're just outside in the sun exercising. It's just. It's brilliant, and it's that really, is brilliant. Really fun. I'm yeah. interested to hear like a, a story. Like, is there a, an appropriate experience sure. that you could share with us a uh, success of adventure therapy? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, I'll give you, for example, I'll, I'll go along with, with the idea of anxiety, for example. Right. So anxiety, the way that I would describe anxiety um, and I, and I would actually say that a lot of individuals who struggle or, or who suffer from anxiety, they have what I would say is a particular brain, meaning that their, their brain is what I would say is sticky, mm -hmm. meaning things stick and, and, the, and the anxious brain has a difficult time shifting through information because the brain becomes very obsessed or stuck in particular things. And that stuckness is not a word, but I'll just use yeah. it anyways. 
ends up creating a lot of anxiety for the individual. And then there's lots of biological things that happen and panic can set in and our brains don't think so hot. And, and so here we are, right? These individuals who come to see me, right? Who perhaps struggle with anxiety or have this, that their brain has a tendency to become very fearful very quickly. And I take them rock climbing, right? So we're talking, you know, 30, 40, 60, 200 feet, Wow. Depending on where we go, right? Where we do single or multi pitch, or we repel, and I'll take them like commando style repelling, where we go forward off the cliff. Oh yeah! And so here are these natural experiences that, that naturally create a horror for these people. <laughs> right, right. And, and, and oh, my I, poor I, wife I can relate yeah. to those feelings, but it's amazing what yeah. happens as you overcome those those fears, and uh, yeah, you see. A lot of growth. It's absolutely. And so, I mean, generally speaking, my, my wife just feels terribly for these people who have to come see me. And I, of course, you know, take them to do these experiences. And, and for some, to be honest, um, they come and climbing is pretty natural. And they come and they're not terribly af- afraid. So, I mean, so let's say on a scale of, of zero to 10, you know, on a, on a, on a fear scale right there, they come and they rock climb with me, you know, and they're like at a three or a four and it's kind of exciting fear. It's kind of fun. But then I've also noticed that there are people who come to climb with me, but their fear scale will come to about a seven or an eight or a nine. And all of a sudden the experience isn't fun, exciting anymore. Yeah, It's scary. Like, yeah. and they, I mean, and there's literally a shift like there is a mental shift there's a face shift that happens yeah when that kind of panic that. or horror happens exactly exactly and so th- the beauty of this experience right is 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 we're not just conceptually talking about dealing with anxiety and giving them tools is we're actually number one we're using exposure right i mean literally we're gonna come back so people will come they'll climb 15 feet up and their body will just paralyzed. I mean, they'll just be frozen up there. They'll have tears streaking down their face, you know, begging me, please, Yuri, just bring me down. And of course I keep them stuck. I'm just kidding. I don't do that. (laughs) I'll bring them down, of course. But the idea is, is that we go back, right? Is that we go back, we expose that, and then we utilize some focus techniques to help them go from that seven, eight, nine, 10 panic place right, where their body has just taken over and they're not in control per se. And then over time, we watch this anxiety just come down and down and down and down and down to the point where they're leading routes, they're doing multi-pitch climbs with me, they're going. And so, of course, I mean, the parallel there that you can already see is is if we can do it at the rock, right, it's it's transferable. Like So the idea is that we can transfer – this type of focus, this type of experience naturally into life, right? So that we can utilize the same principles to do that. I mean, I have just a million stories. I mean, I generally kind of told you a story because that's a story that repeats itself over and over again, where individuals are just frozen. I mean, frozen, frozen. I right. love it. I love it. I can totally <laughs> so it's, relate. It's really yeah. fun. Yeah. And you know, I've I've got to take a quick break here, but yeah. I want to hear more about this and because it's so fascinating and I love uh climbing personally. But yeah, once again, if, if you're out there and you're not familiar uh with life launch centers or the work we do with youth or young adults ages eleven to twenty-six years old, uh struggling with anxiety, depression, or other difficult mental health conditions. You know, it's group counseling, which really helps uh, the defensive walls come down. And and there's a lot of great resources out there available. So if you're experiencing anxiety or or depression taking over your life, please don't wait. Take uh, take the opportunity now to use some of these great resources that we have in the community. Uh, You can give us a call. We do a free 15 minute phone consultation uh, to strategize with, with you, what would be the best course of action to, to help your loved one? The number is 833-803-3883. We'll be back in just one minute with Yuri Mello talking about adventure therapy. When your child struggles with anxiety, it can overtake your life too. It manifests as stomach aches, headaches, and flu-like symptoms that will keep them out of school and often away from social activities. As we heard more and more about young adults failing to launch in life, 
Life Launch Centers formulated a researched approach to teaching kids how to overcome anxiety and depression. Using tools from brain-based research, we created the Resilience Model, an eight-step approach to willfully move from an overwhelming emotional state to a productive and logical thought processes. Using the group therapy approach, youth and young adults find empathy among their peers. Facilitated by a counselor, groups learn mindfulness practices to define their own goals and the path to reach them. As an intensive outpatient program, meeting three to five times a week, youth get on the fast track to healing. It's like the college course in how to kick anxiety and depression to the curb. Enrollment is a three-step process. First, we conduct a thorough evaluation to understand their challenges and make sure they are a good fit for the group. Second, we do a verification of benefits with your insurance and financial situation to minimize any out-of-pocket costs to you. Third, your child starts their personalized treatment plan that will include meeting with their peer group, individual sessions to follow up, and family group sessions so you can all practice the principles at home together. Two nights a month, we even have parents' night where you get together with other clients and bounce ideas off each other to see how others are succeeding at home. With an emotional toolbox full of skills, you and your child will eagerly take on life's challenges and apply the resilience model to successfully launch into life. Contact Life Launch Centers for a personalized assessment today. Life Launch Centers. Answers for life. Welcome back to the Mental Health Moment. I'm your host, Joe Newman with Life Launch Centers. Today, we're talking about adventure therapy with Yuri Mello. He's a licensed clinical social worker here and has his own private practice in the St. George area. Uh, Yuri, thanks again for, for joining us today. It's a pleasure. It's awesome to be here. You know, as a rock climber, personally, I've seen a lot of what you were talking about in the first half happen in the eyes of people I climb with. And, and I've uh, taken a lot of people climbing just through scouts and through dates and through friends, fun. kids and all this kind of stuff. And it's, it's so fun to see what you're talking about, how this adventure therapy, it's kind of anxiety inducing. But like you said, the, the stuff is so transferable to the rest of life. Like they realize hey, I, I did some hard stuff on that rock and I can do that, you know, in this emotional situation that's now in the forefront. But um, what, uh, I mean, tell me a little bit about why adventure therapy, besides like your personal love for it, how, sure. how else do you see that apply in people's lives? Uh, well, I, I think one of the ones, number one, is, is, is how easy it is, I think, for adolescents and young adults and really adults, I mean, because I climb with some as well, but it, it, it just becomes, because for me, th there's this relationship, I think, between fear, anxiety, and confidence. And so I always kind of, I, I, I show it up as levels like this. So as, as your confidence goes up, your anxiety and your fear goes down, right? And I think I see that uh, not only at The Rock, but individually with people. I mean, as they go out and expose themselves to some of these circumstances. Yeah. And once again, the, the, the climbing just becomes a model, right? That's what climbing really becomes for them is, is not only this, it's a climbing is a little cultural as you've probably noticed, right? Yeah, it's, absolutely. So it, it, it becomes this little culture where these, these kids and these individuals, they feel really successful at, and as their confidence in their own ability, in their own strength, in their own skill grows, their fear and anxiety becomes a little bit lower. Um, and the idea, of course, that I'm trying to to gently show through the experience is is whatever somebody consistently does over time, like they become better at doing that thing, not because that thing is different or because it's become easier, but because their ability to do that thing is increased. And that includes yeah. managing their fear, right? Our body, when we experience those high levels of anxiety that you guys are working with there at Life Launch Centers, um, what happens is the body goes into the, you know, the, the typical three response, right? It's the fight, 
flight or freeze response, right? And, right, right. and what, I, what I'm trying to teach people on the rock, right, is, is this fourth response of focus, right? Let's learn to focus differently, right? And climbing allows that, and it just does it in a real setting. Um, and it works so great because it's just, it's fun. Like, it's, it's exciting. Totally People want to keep and coming back. Love it. Yeah, now, exactly. Now, I, I imagine it's maybe not for everybody. And I also think that you're, you're working on a great project right now yeah. that is kind of for everybody that is right. a totally different format. I, tell us a little bit. I think it's called the Daily Pulse. Tell us a little bit about that. That's right. Daily Pulse is a, it's a phenomenal thing. It actually, the, the, the genesis of it uh, happened around 2017 or 2018, uh, when I was good in, uh, meeting with a good friend of mine here, um, that was kind of the origination of the concept. Uh, his name is Justin Keat. He's a principal at Desert Hills High School. Yeah. And if you recall, that was the year where they had had kind of some multiple suicides yeah, uh, in the community. Yep, it was. And, and Justin uh, reached out to me. I had done some presentations there before. He knew of me. And Justin basically said, hey, look, Yuri, man, we've got to do something. I feel like these things are happening in the community and in my school and I'm just reacting and I want something that's proactive. I want something that's preventative. I want something that goes out to the kids and is doing something. And we discussed a variety of things, uh, but then he got busy. I got busy and, and life kind of went on. And then later on, I ended up connecting with a good friend of mine, Trent Staley, who is a genius programmer. And we talked about some ideas and he said, Hey, let's do this. And we, we, we called it school pulse. And we ended up creating this platform through text. So where we send it. out, yeah, we send out these weekly texts to, to teenagers uh, in high school and in middle school, where not only are we kind of assessing where they are emotionally throughout the week, but then we're providing videos and podcasts and inspirational memes. And it's coming to them on a weekly basis, just basically meant to bring goodness it's really an enrichment tool and then oh, later amazing. on i mean yeah i, I signed yeah. up for it a little while ago and uh, every day you know you're able to establish what what time you want this text to come and then and then these messages come from you and they're really inspirational right. messages about you know how to make your day great how what what things to focus on in life and then like you said these amazing resources that you can that you can augment those thoughts by listening to a podcast or, or reading an article. And, and then there's even like a metric system where it asks you like, how are you feeling today? And I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. So we're, we're actually measuring, I mean, of course it's all anonymous, it's confidential, but we're actually measuring people's well being, right? I mean, as people respond, as these adolescents respond, they can actually see, see on a longitudinal graph how they're doing throughout the year, anxiety wise and general well being wise. And they can see that right on their phone. It shows them that later on, right? So I think what you're talking about, Joe, is, is Daily Post, which is kind of a spin off from our School Post product, yeah. where we've had a lot of individuals, really adults, who said, like, hey, we, we want to do this. Yeah. And so we, we then create a Daily Post, which is, which is a daily 365 day program to better thinking, feeling, and being, right? And, and the concept there is that through these inspirational texts, through these inspirational messages, having individuals kind of evaluate where it is that they are. And then we also offer these question and answer format podcasts, which are honestly my very favorite. Um, we end up providing this just to the general population and it's so, well, so easy to sign up for. So, well, I highly recommend it. Like it was a really, uh, it's a very valuable part of my day. And so tell the listeners out there, Yuri, how do they get a hold of the school or excuse me, the, the daily pulse? Yeah. How do they sign up for that? How do they find you? Absolutely. All the, well, you can go to dailypulse.com. Uh, you can also download the podcast at Spotify or iTunes podcasts under Daily Pulse. You can search for it there. But if you want to sign up for the service, it's a 30-day free. And then if you want it, you keep it. But all you have to do is you just text the word START, S-T-A-R-T, to 435-633-9189. Just text START to 435-633-9189. 
and it begins and you don't have to do anything. Just sit back and enjoy. Awesome. I'll make sure to put that number and awesome. the, the information on the website so people can, yeah. can get a hold of that. And uh, as far as your private practice and sure. adventure therapy, how do people get a hold of you there? The easiest way uh, is to text me personally. That's honestly, I don't even answer phones, but, but I love text. People text me all the time and they can text me at 435-319-0347. That's the best way to reach me. They can go to my website too and at yuretmello.com. But my name is, it, it's a hard, hard one to, to know spell. how to spell it, it first, but that's fine. I'll put it <laughs> exactly. on the, uh, on the, the description as well. So the yeah, that would be awesome. Both of you. Cause again, I really love what you're doing. You're a, a, I think an innovative mind in the uh, counseling world and you bring some really unique resources to the community. And that's really what this show is all about is trying to help people realize out there that, that if you're, if, if you've got anxiety or depression or any other difficult situation, trauma, things in your life that are take overtaking you, you don't have to bear those burdens alone. There's people, there are people out there with help and with uh, ability to, to kind of help you through these difficult things. So anyway, Yuri, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Well said, Joe, I, I appreciate being here. It was really fun, really fun. Well, I've got to wrap it up here. And so I hope everyone out there got some helpful ideas about how to help your kids through these difficult and unusual times. Uh, and maybe some some fun things that you can do right now to oh, help improve absolutely. mental health. Um, you know, if, if you have any questions, jump on our website at lifelaunchcenters.com. There's a lot of great free resources there. But this has been your mental health moment. Join us again next time right here on St. George News Radio. This is Joe Newman signing off from Life Launch Centers. Until next time, keep those kids safe and keep your sanity. You've been listening to the Mental Health Moment. Brought to you by Life Launch Centers. For more info, visit them at lifelaunchcenters.com.